Hey guys, this is Andre at the Andre Lifestyle. It's a lifestyle channel where I document and educate my audience on what I've experienced in the military, the health and fitness rules that I live by, the self-improvement books that I've read, and the travel destinations that I recommend. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new great content every week. Hey guys, it's Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is diet and working out to prepare yourself for Coast Guard boot camp. I get this question asked a lot. What's the fastest way to cut weight in order to join the Coast Guard? What's the fastest way to cut weight so I'm in, I'm able to join the Coast Guard? Then the next question is, what's the, be what's the best way to prepare myself physically to get into the Coast Guard? And that's what today's topic is in this video. Now I addressed this topic, it's very same topic on YouTube Live. I did my first YouTube Live uh, broadcast yesterday and uh, it went, I feel like it went really well. It's like an hour long. I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed the interaction with the viewers uh, and subscribers that were interacting with me last night and when I was in DC. Just a recap of what we talked about yesterday. I'm gonna recap everything that I talked about, starting with the workout, okay? So I recommend in order to get really good at the physical fitness test in Coast Guard Boot Camp. Let's see, that's a separate like micro topic of the big picture here. But let's start with just passing the PT test. In order to pass the PT test, you need to do the PT test. In order to pass the ASVAB test, you need to take practice tests. In order for me to really give you advice on this, I really think that it's important that you guys understand that I have some knowledge about being physically fit in the military. So I don't want to just, I don't want you guys to think what I'm telling you is bullshit. In boot camp, they don't emphasize a lot on, you know, bulking. Do not go to boot camp with massive amounts of muscle. That is just the stupidest thing that you could possibly do before you go to boot camp. You need to be doing cardio and body weight exercises. And a great workout for that is called the MRF, right? Now I'm not going to go into what the MRF is. What I'm going to go into is what the half MRF is. That's what I'm promoting the half MRF. So the half MRF is a half mile run. Then you do 50 pull-ups. You do 100 push-ups and 150 air squats followed by another half mile run. That is the half MRF. If you can do that workout every other day before you go off to boot camp, no matter how long, if you, if, if you have Let's say you have a week before you ship off to boot camp. I recommend you do that every single day until you get to boot camp. And I guarantee you that you will be ready for a Coast Guard boot camp physically. Now, if you if you want to excel even more and you want to be a, a physical specimen, you want to be a stud at Coast Guard boot camp, do the full MRF, right? So the full MRF is a mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats followed by another one mile run. That's the one, that's the exercise I'm promoting. It, you are using every part of your body when you do the half, when you're doing the MRF or half MRF. You're using every single part of your body and on, and on top of it, you're incorporating body weight exercises and um, you are doing cardio, you're running. You're running two miles. The, the Coast Guard PT test is a mile and a half. That's the run. Right? So that's workout. I hope I, I answered that question on the workout that I believe will prepare you the best for Coast Guard boot camp. I think I'm gonna release a video um, of me actually doing the workout to show you guys that it's possible. Even me not being fit at all, cause I don't go to the gym when I probably should. And I think maybe I should do like a daily vlog or something of me getting up in the morning, showing you what I eat, and that transitions into the next topic of this video. So now I'm gonna talk about diet. Diet is so important if you wanna lose weight. The fastest way to lose, to cut weight, shed off the fat, is a diet called the ketogenic diet, or keto, right? Keto diet. Do your own research if you don't believe what I'm about to tell you, but here it is. The ketogenic diet is this, 70% fats, 25% proteins, and 5% carbs. You're literally excluding, you're, you're eliminating carbs from your diet and you're eating fats, all right? And you're limiting the amount of protein you get as well. And you're going to the gym every day, right? You're doing what I'm asking you to do. You do those two things, the diet and the workout, guaranteed you're gonna shed the pounds quickly. Even if you don't even work out, if you just follow that simple diet, and it's a, it's a good diet, 
it, it, the food that you can eat on it. Anyways, if you follow that simple diet, just the diet, you don't even have to work out, just the diet, you are gonna shed fat from your body. And just a warning guys, when you are on the keto diet, if you decide to, to try it or whatever, you're gonna go through a process called the, the keto flu, where your body is basically going through withdrawal, right? Because your body is so used to eating so many carbs all the time, bread, chips, crackers, pasta, all that pizza, all that stuff that you've been consuming your whole entire life, all of a sudden you're eliminating, right? All that, all that shit. So your body's gonna go through withdrawal and you're gonna feel like shit. Do your research guys, I can't go into every single detail. Maybe when I go through my daily vlogs of me going through the keto diet and working out and stuff, I'll, I'll incorporate a little bit more details about it. Um, but really do your own research and, and make sure that um, you're doing it correctly. Because if you do it correctly, you're going to lose weight. You do both, you're going to feel phenomenal, right? Nowadays, I'm eating crackers, I mean pizza, you know, but if I really wanted to get in tip, uh, tip top shape, this is what I would do. Everything I'm telling you I have done, I have experimented with, and it has worked for me. And if it's worked for me, I'm sure it'll work for you. I really do think that, I believe that. Uh, but you have to put in the work. It, it doesn't matter if I tell you this and you do the keto diet for you know a week and then you binge on like pizza and burgers and fries and stuff like and then you tell me that you got no results that's no this is discipline okay if you really want this you want to be in the Coast Guard and you're overweight you really want to do this you want to you want to make it to the next level you want to change your life do it take action don't just talk about and complain that you're not where you want to be. This is your life, you're in control, okay? Take responsibility. If this is what you want, you can do it. You can do it. If you guys want to see me do the workout that I'm talking about and start the ketogenic diet once again and get in tip-top shape like I was and, and, show, and document it, I can do that. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I really do think I need to get back into shape. I've been eating pretty unhealthy. If, if you told me to run two miles right now, I would be huffing and puffing. I really would. So that concludes this video, guys. I hope that you, I've answered your questions on diet and, and the workout. The best diet to cut weight and the best workouts to do, the best workout or workouts to do to prepare yourself for Coast Guard Boot Camp. After Coast Guard Boot Camp, guys, do whatever you want. I mean, you want to bulk up, bulk up. But I'm, I'm simply here to help you prepare for Coast Guard Boot Camp. That concludes this video, guys. If you like this video, please give this video a like, comment on this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to my channel for more great content every week. And as always, guys, live the lifestyle that you want to live. Peace.